Hello, everyone. I'm Tan Wang. I'm glad to introduce our work, Cloth Former, Taming Video Virtual Try On in All Module. Our motivation is to fit the target clothes to a person in the video with spatio temporal consistency, even if the source person is in wild scenarios or occlusions appear on the model's body. However, there are three challenges remaining. Firstly, existing popular warp techniques fall into two categories TPS based and flow based methods. But both approaches are not accurate enough especially when the model's body is in occlusion. Secondly, how to increase consistency between frames of synthesized video remains an essential topic in the field of video virtual try-on. Finally, despite the tremendous progress of virtual try-on, the generated clothes and non-target body parts are still not harmonious enough with the complicated background. To address these challenges, we propose a novel video virtual try-on framework called Cloth Former. Please see the pre-processing module, Unlike Prior's works, we obtain occlusion's reserved clothing agnostic video sequence by additionally using matting information. In the warping module, we proposed a two-stage anti-occlusion strategy which integrates the advantages of TPS-based methods and appearance flow methods. In detail, we adopt a TPS-based warp module to predict the warp parameter theta. The target clothes were deformed by theta to predict coarse warped clothes. TPS warping is insensitive to occlusion. So, by comparing with the original parsing results, we get the occlusion masks. Then reverse mapping to the in-shop clothes, we obtain the target clothes, which removed the obscuring area. In the end, the appearance flow warp module is adopted to learn dense flow mapping between the body regions and the clothing regions. Flow warping is precise but not resistant to occlusion. So, we apply it to the target clothes with the occlusions removed and get warping results that are both accurate and anti-occlusion. We did an ablation experiment on the anti-occlusion module. Please note the pattern on the clothes. The cloth former without anti-occlusion warp module generates artifacts around occlusion with pixel squeeze phenomenon of both warped clothes and generated results. After obtaining the warped results, the previous work directly used them as the input of the try-on module, but ignored the temporal consistency of the warped sequence. We propose an appearance flow tracking module to produce a temporally smooth warped clothing sequence. We optimize the appearance flow sequence by ridge regression. To accommodate the model's movement changes and environmental influences, the optical flow in the intersection area of the original clothing region and warped clothing region is used to correct the appearance flow. With the appearance flow tracking module removed, the texture of clothes is flickering irregularly. Look at the figure below. We select a point P and map it to the warped clothes. The curve represents the change of the vertical coordinate. The movement becomes much smoother with the tracking module, which indicates that it helps to produce temporally smooth warped clothes sequences. In Tryon Synthesis Module, we propose the multi-scale patch-based dual-stream transformer generator. Let's look at the detailed structure. In the MPDT block, we set body features that represent the model's posture as query and extract it into different scale patches. Similar operations are conducted to extract patches in the warped clothes stream and the clothes agnostic stream. Look at the stream above. The warped clothing sequence features are segmented and embedded as key value pairs, so that MPDT can search and extract the texture and the color feature from clothes. As for the below stream, we set clothes agnostic features as another key value pair, for MPDT can borrow the environment and person identity information. We also did an ablation study of MPDT by replacing it with UNET. The generator without MPDT shows more weakness, such as the non-target body parts looks fake, the region around the upper body is blurring and the generated clothes are not in harmony with the background. We compare cloth former with video-based methods and image-based methods on VVT dataset and our wild dataset IGE VVT. Hence, for a fair comparison, like cloth former, we fused the clothing agnostic region and the original synthesized try-on results of these methods during training process, denoted with asterisk, respectively. As we can see, in the VVT dataset, cloth former outperforms them by a large margin. Also, Clothformer surpasses the baseline methods with or without fusing the clothing agnostic region on IGE VVT. We also perform qualitative experiments. It can be easily observed that Clothformer's results are more natural than baselines, and Clothformer can fill the region around generated body and clothes with plausible content in a video. While faced with wild scenarios and occlusions, Clothformer still performs better than other methods. In the end, we tested more examples using Clothformer. Here are the results on VVT. The composite video appears to have a high degree of realism, and the clothes are stable enough in terms of timing. And, here are the cloth former results on IGE VVT. The body torso generated matches the characteristics of model. Moreover, the generation of the surrounding areas of the body and clothes generated are harmonious enough with the wild scenarios. Thank you very much for your attention.